default execution of the sequential file stage is sequential mode. Okay. So the default execution mode for the sequential file stage is sequential mode. So what is that? Okay. So here we have various files that we will read the data. The default execution mode of sequential file stage uh, is sequential mode. So where you find this, for example, here go to stage. So the default execution mode is sequential. Okay. So how I need to convert in parallel? Okay. So how we can execute in parallel? So parallel can be read, we can execute. There are four ways. Okay. So this is one of the interview question. How we can convert the sequential mode uh, data that we can read it in parallel? Okay, so this is one of the uh, common interview questions. I want to convert a sequential file which is default in uh, sequential mode that I can. I need to read the data file uh, in a parallel mode. So what are the ways? So number one is reading the data in a file pattern. Okay, so if you see here, we have the file. Uh, we have the file. So here we have to read a specific file, and the same uh, we can read another. Uh, file with the same metadata structure and okay so here specific file is there so for example if i read the data in a pattern what happens now let's see so it has been execution mode has been converted into parallel okay so here uh, again i will switch back to specific file so then here what happens here you can see the execution mode has been converted into sequential again okay so this is method one to convert a sequential mode to parallel. And the second method is read from the multiple nodes. Default, it will be no. If you change to yes, it will change it to parallel. Read from the multiple node where we can find this option. So if you click on the option, read from multiple nodes, read from multiple nodes. So default, it has N, no. Okay. So when we convert that into yes option, Let's see. Parallel. For example, here I will be converting this one to no. Okay. Okay. So if it's if I convert it to no, what happens? You can see here. It has been converted into sequential. Okay. So, for example, if I want to convert into parallel, then you need to click on yes. So, that is the second option. Okay. And what is the third option? Read the number of uh, nodes per node. If it is one is sequential, default by one. And if you want to convert more than two, one node. So, in the nodes, those and all we have discussed in uh, a previous session. Okay, so here uh, what you can do. Okay, so here what you can do. You can change this from one node to multiple nodes. Okay, so here what happens. So go to output. So delete this. Okay, so go to options again. And read the read from multi, number of nodes. Number of readers per node. Okay, so here default is one. So when you have one, what happens? It's sequential mode. So here I will change it to two. Let's see what happens. Parallel, see? So this is the way it has been converted into parallel. Okay. And if you read multiple files, so here we are reading a single file. For example, here you can see uh, we are reading only a single file. Okay, so now it has been converted into sequential. So if you are reading multiple files, for example, here I will be reading one file. Okay, so go to source. See it, right? This one. Okay. So I want to read another file. Okay. So let me paste some other file here. For example, I want to read. Okay. So this file, copy this file and paste it here. Okay. Now I will be uh, mapping another file. Okay. So how to define multiple files? 
Okay, so now we can see we have defined single file sequential. So now I will define other file. Go to source, click on file. Okay. Browse for file. Now you can see it has been converted into from default sequential to it has converted to parallel. Okay. So this is one of the common entry questions. Okay. Okay. So remember this four points. Okay. So if you want to make a document, you can make a document. Okay. So that's it, guys. Now, 